My name is Steen Hansen. I play the trombone with uh, Line Kruse, and I played with her for the past five years. Uh, I'm playing trombone on uh, the big band album called Hidden Stone. My name is Kasper Bassholt and I'm a bass player. Jeg hedder Peter Rosendal. Jeg spiller Tiflyl og Fender Moods. Det handler om, om bånd. Det handler om, om de bånd, som er de bånd, vi skaber til omverdenen, som er så vigtige for os og som vi er så, af, så afhængige af. Så er det også bånd, de bånd, som forbinder os til de musikere. Og for mig så er det de bånd, som jeg har til min gruppe, som har fulgt mig igennem mange år efterhånden. Og øhm, hvis man fjerner bolden fra året, så står der jo band. Og det er jo også den fornemmelse, jeg har med det her orkester. Det er et band. Det er den fornemmelse, man har af at være i øh, et, et fællesskab. Øh, bånd, det er også forbindelsen til min klassiske baggrund, som jeg har jo en klassisk uddannelse, og jeg er kommet over i, i, øh, til, til jazzen på sådan en, en vej gennem latinamerikansk musik og mange andre stilarter. Men øh, når jeg arrangerer nogle Karl Nielsen numre og inspirerer sig af Elgar og andre komponister, så er det jo også et bånd, man skaber. My name is Jonas Johansen. I'm a Danish drummer and percussion player. This is heading this Line Kruse project here. I have um, Played. I've known Line for maybe 30 years actually, but I've played with her in the last 15 years or so. I would describe the music she made, makes, it's, I mean it's a very special thing because she is a classical educated violinist, but Lina is special in the way that she has a very strong uh, Argentinian influence and also uh, a lot of influences from all kinds of other parts of Latin America, especially Peru, Colombia. She's very interested in uh, all kinds of different, finding new rhythms all the time from uh, the ethnic world, you would say. And, and then she creates her very personal own universe of music using all these elements. She uses big band languages, but it doesn't sound like big band. She uses festejo rhythms from Peru, but it doesn't sound like festejo. She makes her own melting pot of, uh, of her, her very personal um, musical expression. Um, her music uh, is uh, it's clearly uh, Argentinian uh, inspired, most of it, but it also has like a Danish angle, uh, especially this program that we are playing on this record, uh, where we're playing some Danish folk songs, uh, and uh, she also has her own style. Det er jo et rimelig stort projekt, fordi der også er strygere med. Så det der med at blande blæser og strygere, det giver jo en fornemmelse af orkestral musik. Jamen altså, i hvert fald det, der har været nyt for mig, det er jo det her afro peruvianske øh, som jo er voldsomt spændende. Øh, en, en slags rytmer, som jeg ikke har mødt før. Det her øh, orkester blev det blev skabt, fordi jeg havde lavet en Big Bang-plade. Og for at komme ud og spille med Big Bang, blev, øh, det er der jo ikke så mange muligheder for. I hvert fald ikke så ofte. 
Og derfor så havde jeg lavet den her septet, som øh, hvor der var tre repræsentanter fra, fra hver blæsersektion, altså saxofongruppen, trompet og resongruppen. Og, og øh, derfor så var det sammensat sådan set til at spille repertoireet fra øh, mit, mit nu øh, ikke for øh, sidste, ja det forrige album, som hedder Hidden Stone. Det er derfor gruppen blev skabt, men så blev jeg så glad for det, så jeg tænkte, nu må der ske noget, som, er, som bare er vores. <laughs> I'm Jesper. I'm the, I play trumpet and flugelhorn in the band, and I've been with the band for about two, three years now. My name is uh, Frederick Menzies, and uh, I play the saxophone and clarinet and bass clarinet. We are like three horns in this band. I play the trombone. I was actually lucky to get asked by Line who I would like to play with at that time when we were going to put the horn section together. And I recommended both of them, and I'm glad I did, because uh, we have a good time. We play great together, and uh, we have a lot of fun and have a good time. So in, in all perspectives, these are the greatest guys to play with. Yeah, uh, the three of us, we've been playing together from in many different contexts, big bands and small groups like this, so it's always a great pleasure to play with Jesper and Steen, and uh, we sort of know each other, I think, so we, we get, we get you know, in sync pretty fast. say it's um, it's kind of a, a fusion type of music but with a, you know the jazz sensibilities and a lot of uh, ethnic uh, sensibilities like a borrowing from uh, from South America been the kind of I've been and since he started using playing with Danish musicians uh, from living in France for many years I have been the one that has been there all the time yeah. 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 Fordi jeg havde mit franske band med til Danmark på en turné. Og så kunne min tromslærer ikke komme, og så skulle jeg bruge en tromslærer. Og så, var jeg, så fik jeg jo selvfølgelig anbefalet Jonas Hansen. Og så har Jonas da været meget med hele tiden på sidelinjen. Sådan til, at, fordi jeg ikke bor i Danmark, at øh, anbefale musikere. Og, øh, fordi han jo fra starten har kendt til min musik, og derfor sådan, og kender jo mange folk, og kender mange stiler, og derfor har jeg en rigtig, rigtig god fornemmelse for øh, den, der er masser af til det her. Så han har bestemt været mig med i mange led af processen også nu. Ja, men det, øh, det gør det, og det er jo sådan, mit liv er også. Altså, det er... Øh, det er en blanding af Danmark og Frankrig. Man, man, selvom man forlader sit land, så vender man det jo aldrig i ryggen. Og det er jo så helt utroligt vigtigt, at det bliver nærmest vigtigere end før. Det med at være dansker, fordi det hele tiden kommer op i en. Man bliver hele tiden mindet om, når man bor i udlandet, at man er fra et andet sted. Altså, man kan ikke lade være med hele tiden at sammenligne og, 
Og derfor så bliver Danmark jo også på en eller anden måde forgyldt, sådan inde i mit, og sådan mentalt. Og derfor synes jeg også, det er ovenud fantastisk at kunne komme her og indspille. Og det er jo første gang for mig, at alt andet jeg har lavet har været i Frankrig eller på Cuba eller andre steder. If I should describe the music, I would say in three words, that would be uh, Afro-Peruviansk violinfusion. Så ved jeg ikke, hvad den sidste skal være. Det er også fair. Uh, uh, kompositionsmusik. Måske. Okay, yeah. Yes. The three words I would use to describe her music is exciting and poetic and... Um, Mysterious. Her music is sophisticated, sprawling or lively, and, and has a very strong Latin American influence. Latin, Nordic, contemporary. I think it's uh, complex complexity and uh, rhythms and improvisation. Melodic, complex, and challenging. <laughs> challenging. Challenging. Det er virkelig ikke noget, jeg søger, at, at det skal være komplekst. Og jeg håber, at selvom det kan være komplekst, og der foregår mange ting, at i den sidste ende, så bliver det noget, som folk synes er let tilgængeligt. Og, um, det ved jeg i hvert fald fra mine tidligere projekter, at, øh, at øh, folk har synes, at det er hvad, øh, altså, at, at det lyder ikke komplekst. Musikerne ved godt, at der ligger, altså, ja, at for dem så, så er det mere end bare ikke. The music we play uh, in the band is mostly originals by uh, Lina and uh, and she did arrangements. Basically, Lina just got in touch with me and, and asked me to join her for her upcoming album, which to me was at first slightly uh, well, it was intriguing and it was slightly scary, I guess. Um, I've never sung jazz music. Uh, I used to play jazz trombone in my younger years in, in Austria, but that's a long time ago. And But uh, when I heard the song, um, uh, Den Milde Dag, Elise Olang, Carl Nielsen's uh, song is just simply so incredibly beautiful and uh, I've always been a, a big fan of Carl Nielsen's. It made, made it easier for me to take on the project um, and then when I heard uh, Lena's arrangement of the music I, I was absolutely um, I was very happy because it's simply uh, I think it's very good it's very uh, it's it's like It's a very nice rendition of of the essence of the of the song, which is kind of like this. It's it's a, it's a, it's this kind of cute, innocent uh, love song, really, uh, of some someone that is uh, is head over heels uh, with with their neighbor's daughter, I guess, or something like this. Uh, and. Yeah, I, I, f I find her arrangement simply uh, absolutely outstanding and, and it was great fun to get to sing, sing on this and uh, yeah. So 
so definitely a good one there, Lene. Det er også meget dansk, for eksempel, at kalde sit album for bånd, simpelthen ikke. Vi bruger et, et å og sådan nogle ting, ikke desværre yeah. at oversætte. Altså, er der nogen uh, tanker omkring det? Altså, er det sådan lidt uh, kigge hjem af med, det, med den her plade, eller hvordan? Det er det selvfølgelig. Det er det selvfølgelig, og så har jeg da også det tænkt over, at øh, bånd, øh, selvom det ikke betyder noget på andre sprog, øh, så siger det jo noget, med, øh, med et dansk bogstav, så siger det noget om Danmark, fordi det kan folk jo lynhurtigt spotte, at det her det er noget med Skandinavien. Øh, og så igen, altså når man læser, når man læser bånd, så kan man jo ikke undgå med udenlandske briller at læse band. Så et eller andet sted kan der jo godt stå lige kruse band. <laughs> Uh, well, I think uh, Lena's music is very exciting, and um, it, it draws from many different, uh, you know, genres, inspirations. There's a lot of Argentinian clave and uh, rhythms, and she has some beautiful, uh, you know, contemporary jazz harmonies, and so it's it's a, it's a mix of a lot of different things, and a lot of it's very poetic and romantic, also and and engaging and. Percussive. It, it has many things, many different things for music. So it's fun to play and challenging. <laughs> Lina is a great composer who writes in her own style, uh, incorporating, as I said earlier, maybe different styles, but she does it in her own way. So it's very unique. Never thought I'd feel this way And as far as I'm concerned I'm glad I got the chance to say That I do believe I love you And if I should ever go away Well then close your eyes and try To feel the way we do today And then if you can remember Shining, no, you can always count on. 